Good morning guys, how are we? Back out today, we're back out on a new permission. Hey, we've got a day's permission somewhere. And uh, we're on a stubble field, it's very hard going at the moment. And uh, I've just had my first hit, and uh, here it is. It looks like a farthing, I think it is. We'll find out who it is in just a second. Queen Victoria farthing. That's cool, that's a nice first hit. And it's uh, 1863. Wow, amazing. Quite good condition as well for it being a farthing. Right, uh, so as I said, we're in here for a day and uh, hopefully we'll get some nice things. Right guys, just dug it not far away from the farthing. It's a musket ball, it's just come out. That's cool. Signals are few and far between, there's not a lot of junk, so it suggests to me that this feels either not had a lot of use or uh, it's been done before, which is probably the best bit it's been done before. Right guys, just got another hit, it looks like a pistol ball this time. Uh, nothing of greatness. Well, look at that, there's the plane kicking off. Amazing! Right guys, just dug it, there you go, it's just a George Sixpenny in crusty condition, 1918 Not having much luck, but you never know, I'll keep swinging and uh, hopefully something good will come out Right guys, just dug it, there you go, uh, another coin, it's an Elizabeth the second, it's a one shilling, not silver of course, but can't always have silver, farmers are working the fields close by, uh, fingers crossed, we'll get something good. Right guys, just dug it, there you go, it's just another penny, positive that's George V, I don't really know, I'd need a better look at it. I'll let you know in the roundup, possible George Five Penny. Right guys, just had another hit. I'm unsure what this is, I have not cleaned it up yet, so I'll do it for you here. It looks like some kind of mount. It looks like a shield. I'm not sure what that is. Possibly a finial, but it'll maybe clean up a bit better. Uh, I want to get it cleaned up, I'm not sure he's on the round up. Right guys, just dug it, I think we've got a silver coin in here. So let's open it up and find out. <coughs> oh, it's not a coin. It's a... Oh, I'm not sure. I think it's St Christopher. I'm not up my saints, unfortunately. It's silver, it's Hallmark silver. Woohoo! I think that's this in Christopher. Uh, I'm not possibly 100% sure, but it does look like a St. Christopher medallion. And it's silver! Good morning guys, how are we? I'm back out today. I'm out of the bottle dump. Uh, I'm going to give us a go, we've moved quite a lot of the stuff, me and Dave yesterday. And uh, we're just going to see what we can find. Uh, the further back we go, the more we seem to be running into bottles. I've just had my first bottle, and here it is, it's a nice clear one. Unfortunately, there's no writing on it. Sorry guys, as I was saying, that dog scared me there. Uh, this one actually says Newcastle upon time, Castle brand. So it's got a little bit of writing on it just up here that I never noticed. Uh, so fingers crossed, uh, we're going to get some good bottles today. That's a nice start. Right guys, there we go, bottle number two has come out again. It's just clear. But I still think there's more back there. It's just getting back to them, I'm into the ash layer now. And uh, fingers crossed just digging back in here. 
we should get some nice bottles. Right guys, again we've got bottle number three here, it's just sticking out. I uh, have no idea how I'm going to get it out because the ground is absolutely solid. So I'm going to work away at it and once I get it, I'll show you what it is. Right guys, just got an old McCune's bottle. Edinburgh. That's an old one, that's cool. I do like that one, I'll get that one cleaned up. And uh, I'm going to clean a few and I'll show you them after they've been cleaned. Right guys, I've just dug that one out. It's a stoneware jar. Again, it's very nice. Whole. That's what I do like about this dump. Everything seems to be whole. There's very much... Uh, in the last dump that we did that didn't come out whole, which really annoyed me because there was some really good bottles in it, but sometimes that's just how it is. But this dump seems to be really good. Uh, there seems to be a lot of old bottles and they're still whole. So I'm hopeful as we move our way back the way, that we should get a lot more good bottles. Right guys, I've just dug that one out there. It's a Carton's HP Sauce. That's cool. Uh, I've not seen one of them before. It's a shame that I've... It's obviously nicked at the top, so... It's going to get recycled. Otherwise it would have been a keeper. Look, it's nice, but... Right guys, I've just dug this one here. This one looks like a paste jar. Oh, very nice. Uh, I think I'll keep that one. I've not got one of these. I've got a smaller size in this. Uh, so that'll go on my smaller size for my collection. Again, just dug this one. It's another clear one. No writing on it. Still nice in shape. Uh, I'll probably keep it again for my collection. Right, guys. Just dug this one. It's still got a lid on it. <laughs> it's obviously a screw top. Uh, nice in shape, no writing on it. Again, it's another keeper for my collection once I can get the water out of it. I hope that's water that's inside it. You never know with these bottles because they've had poisons and everything in them. I really should wear gloves doing this because you actually really don't know what you're digging out. <sighs> right guys, just dug that one. That one's probably fairly modern. It's a screw top blue jar. Because it's blue, I'm going to keep it. I do like the blue jars. It's nice. Right guys, I've just dug out a chemist bottle here. It says Woodward Chemist London on it, which is nice. Not seen one of them before, but that's a nice bottle. Woohoo! That's a keeper. Again, that's just another clear bottle, no writing on it. Again, it goes in my collection. Uh, one thing I haven't really found here is any bottles with crooked necks, but you never know what you're going to find until you start digging. Right guys, just dug that one there. That one looks like uh, Fraser and Green. It's a chemist, Glasgow Limited. Uh, that's a nice one. That's another keeper in my chemist collection. I've got a few. That one's nice. Definitely be keeping that one. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next hunt. Bye for now.